Despite the popularity of social media websites, some people in parts of India are trying to keep the tradition of sending greeting cards on special occasions alive. With New Year just around the corner, enthusiasts in Rajasthan thronged gift shops to buy greeting cards for their loved ones. Personally, the physical, uh, the card that have been going on through generations, because e-greeting you just normally treat as an email. So you open it and you forget about it, but something that stays in your house, you can put it on the fridge, you can basically keep it as a memory, is a card. However, in Coimbatore, the cost-effective e-cards remained a popular option among the people. So I think uh, it firstly depends whether you're meeting the person in person or not. So obviously you're meeting him in person, then you will give him a personal card. On the other hand, it also shows uh, the importance of that person in your mind. So typically, if the person is important, then you will do everything to make him feel special. And then we'll come up with a proper card, probably for flowers or a gift or whatever. Although the industry data shows retail sale of greeting cards have declined, institutional sale have seen a surge as most of the companies prefer to send greeting cards to their clients or customers. Yeah, of course, we, we buy a greeting card to wish our friends. Nowadays, we prefer um, more than greeting card, uh, like wishing in uh, Facebook and Twitter is more than easy to wish our friends. Correspondent Lokendra Singh from Jaipur and Jehovah from Coimbatore for ANI.